afternoon, Stockton residents, friends, followers, all of you who've come to this very special celebration here on the Miracle Mile to show the world, not just Forbes, but to show the world that Stockton is magnificent, not miserable. We've got Greg Basso, who, as you all know, did an absolutely wonderful four-minute video all on his own. He just felt so compelled, so disgusted with what Forbes was saying. He did this video that shows the greatness of Stockton. And so on this auspicious occasion, we're going to crown him. We're going to crown him Mr. Magnificent. Forbes just didn't get it. These are the people, hardworking people, who whether they're going through tough times or good times, every day we're, we're still the ones that keep the clock ticking. So Forbes should have been thanking us, not calling us names. Forbes, you got it wrong! Forbes, you got it wrong! Forbes, you got it wrong! It's a blow away. I mean, to see this many people coming here just to let the ivory tower Forbes magazine in New York know that we're not miserable and we're wonderful people, hardworking Americans, and we don't need to be called names. We need to be thanked by Mr. Forbes that we get up every morning and go to work. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We're absolutely thrilled with the turnout. I couldn't imagine that this many people wanted to have the say to Forbes that we wanted to say. When we first started this, we were thinking about 250, 300, maybe 500 if we were lucky. And people have been estimating today that there were 2,500 people out here. And we love it. We're so excited. We can't wait to see the picture and have it splashed on the record as well as sent to Forbes magazine. Let them know that we are not miserable. It's going to be enlarged as large as we can en enlarge it. We're going to ship it to Forbes. We're also going to put a copy in City Hall so that everyone can come down to see themselves. And we're going to ship it to Forbes magazine with the copies of the petitions that people signed today saying that Forbes is wrong, that we're a magnificent city. Art collective uh, called Scale House Collective, uh, based all out in Stockton. It's a group of my friends that I work really close with, and I felt like uh, I can share ideas and collaborate with. So uh, we got together these past couple months and really decided on, you know, let's let's try to put some art shows together and involve our our art and our ideas with the community. So this was a great idea to kind of participate in. You know, Stockton is a really great place. You just really have to involve yourself in it and kind of share the ideas and and. and Tribute to this community makes the city better. Of course, if you kind of stay indoors and you know, like that's a lot of where the negativity comes from. They don't want to do anything. You know, you really got to get yourself out there and involve yourself. We have gotten together and decided upon the most miserable magazine awards. Number one, the worst magazine. Forbes. What about that? Forbes magazine. What about that? You know, I would love for this to be an annual event, but I think it's really more important for everybody to live the spirit of what we've done today, 365 days a year.